This is a webinar for new InterNACHI members and new inspectors. But again, if you're an experienced inspector or been in the business for a while, maybe you'll learn something or maybe have some questions to ask, feel free. Again, my name is Ben Gramico. I'm on the contact page and there's a URL, natchiorg slash contact. And we're doing an InterNACHI webinar and we video record all of our webinars. And all of our webinars are online, free, live. That means interactive. You can ask questions. And uh, the URL is natchiorg slash webinar. So right there, two URLs, that means you better get your notes out. Get a pen, paper, old school, or something digital, and write down these URLs. You can also email me, I'm on the contact page, for the slides, if you'd like the slides. All right, everyone ready? You wanna chat that you're ready? And we'll get going. Here's what we can talk about. We can talk about where to start, what to do next, and how to access everything that you need to be successful. So there's some topics there I just jotted down on a list. We can go over training, certification, education, branding, marketing, websites, how to find your friendly competitors. Um, what's the difference between certification and licensing, home inspector events, business and legal resources, checklist for success, how to get free live online training, Anything you want to talk about, let's do it. Here's what I really want to talk about. Making a great living. So let's start off with this. Let's keep this in mind. This is essentially why we're all here, right? We want to make a great living. We want to be in business as a home inspector and make a great living. That's the purpose of being in business, by the way. What is the purpose of being in business? have something to do today? No. The purpose of being in business and then taking on all that it entails is making a great living. Sure, you wanna pay the bills, right? You wanna pay the mortgage or the rent. You wanna go on vacation every once in a while, save some money, maybe grow your business, maybe hire others, right? Travel and see the world, do good things in your community, right? But all of that depends upon your success. Now, if you wanted to have a good living, you get a good job, and that is just fine. Or maybe you work as an inspector for another company. That's great, too. Yep. But if you want to make a great living, it's possible, but it takes some work. And that's what this webinar is about. What do you do next in order to make that great living? So you want to make a ton of cash and make a great living by being in business. Here's the first thing I want you to do, if you haven't yet already, go to that URL, natchi.org slash stacks, and download this book. It's about a 30 minute read. You can do it in the bathroom. <laughs> it's free, PDF, download. Now you go through it and it's called Stacks. It's a home inspector's guide to increasing gross revenue. If this content in this book is of great interest to you, then you probably want to think of yourself as a business owner. Don't think of yourself as a home inspector. If you joined the internet to be a home inspector, that's great. You can work for someone else. But ultimately, to make a great living, you want to start your own business and think of yourself as a business owner. You own and operate a successful home inspection business. You are a business owner. That's a change of a mindset. Your whole world changes when you think of yourself as a business owner. Don't worry about the, the cliches that people teach about, well, you don't want to work in your business. You want to work on your business or over your business, whatever the, all that stuff means. What you want to do is you think of yourself as a business owner who just happens to do home inspections. You can be any kind of business owner. You could sell shoes and candles and things like that. But we're talking about home inspections here, right? So download this book. It's a free book about stacks of cash. If that interests you, good. We're on the same page. Think business. Now, one of the fun things to do is, well, how much money is there to make, right? How do I, how do I calculate what I should be charging my clients so that I can make a lot of money? Now, there's a difference between making a lot of money and making a lot of profit. And it takes math to figure that out. And it's very basic math, high school, ninth grade math, adding, subtracting, dividing. 
and a little multiplying. How do you do it? How do you know how much money you should charge? Like, hmm, if I charge $350 and I multiply that, hmm, maybe I'll do one a day or maybe one a week, start off slow. How much money can I make at the end of the day? Yeah, you want to start thinking like that. Maybe you're already in business and you're just not sure why you're at the end of the month a little short. You want to calculate a profitable fee. So you want to go to the home inspection business course. If there's any home inspection business course out there, don't go to it. Go to this one, InterNACHI's home inspection business course. It's at natchiorg slash education, and it's free and online. Learn at your pace for InterNACHI members. Go to education. Go over here. And this is our education page, natural slash education. You can also get there by um, going to get started and then going to the training and education. And then you go to the search field right down here. And you type business. It'd be great if you right now tell me that you can see what I'm doing. Because <laughs> I can't actually see if you can see what I'm doing. Can you see the, the education page and I'm typing business and I'm clicking this link? Okay, great. You go to the home inspection business course. This is a course, this is a home inspection business course, right? It's based upon the Small Business Administration's business course, but we tweaked it for home inspectors specifically. And you take the course and you log in and you go to chapter 11. This is my favorite chapter. There's a bunch of chapters, but chapter 11 is all about calculating a profitable fee, figuring out what is your desired annual income? What is your gross revenue need? How much money do you need to make in your business in order to pay the bills, go on vacation, take care of your overhead, things like that? How much do you want to work? Do you want to work five days a week, seven days a week? Are you a weekend warrior? You can figure all this out. And it's all about math. There's no guessing. You don't go online. You don't do a Google search for home inspectors in your area and see what they're charging. And then base that. That has nothing to do with you. Very little to do with you. It has something to do with how much you can demand for your prices how much the market can take, how saturated is the market. How, can you easily or with a lot of difficulty distinguish yourself from the rest of the competition? You can get a lot of information by taking a look around, but really when it comes down to math, money, profit, it's all about you and your needs. You have to do the math. And again, the math is easy. How are you gonna do it? You go through an example in our home inspection business course on how to calculate a profitable fee. Maybe right now you're not charging enough. That's why it, you're maybe not jazzed enough about making a ton of cash and making a great living. Maybe you're not making a great living. You're already in business. Maybe just the math is wrong. Okay, I think I made that point. Let's go back to the slides. Step one, we're gonna go through a couple steps here. Step one is you join InterNACHI. Maybe you're already an InterNACHI member, great. If you're not, email me. I'll give you a 14 day free trial just so you can get in the system, just like everyone else for about 14 days. And you take a look around. If it makes sense to you, again, like that Stacks book, you're gonna download and read. If the content of that Stacks book really gets you jazzed for being in business and making a lot of money, keep on going. Join InterNACHI, or if you're not a member, email me, I'll help you get in. Welcome to the family. This is the world's largest organization of like-minded people. We're all home inspectors or inspectors of some time, some type. We have pool inspectors, we have radon inspectors, we have mold inspectors, we have contractors. So step two is you get trained, okay? Join InterNACHI. Oh, what's the cost? Let's talk about cost, because you want a huge return on investment, just like your clients. Your clients are gonna invest you, they're gonna pay some money for you. You want an overwhelming with great value. You want a huge return. They want a huge return on value. They want value. They want to be overwhelmed by your value for hiring you for $500. I'm going to tell you how much each step costs. Step one was join InterNACHI. You can do it for $49 for free for 14 days, free trial. If you email me, if you're a non-member, if you've never been a member. Step two, you get trained. Natchi.org slash education. You go to our education page, go to any Natchi.org page and you go to get started right? You scroll down, you get licensing and certification help, you get training and education, you go to our education page. What does that cost? Membership fee, that's it. No additional fee, no additional cost. 
So it's zero. Step two is zero. You can get trained. You get trained. We have over 100 free online courses for Internet Chief members. Anything you want to learn. And all of the courses are online, tuition free for Internet Chief members, provided by the only home inspector college on the planet Earth. That's internachi.edu. If you're thinking about taking a class or a course, make sure that school has .edu in it. We're actually an accredited by the US Department of Education, their national accrediting agency called ASSET. You can look it up. Go to internachi.edu. You can check our accreditation. Only home inspector college in, in the world. So go there. Tuition free home inspector college. So that's zero dollars. So $49 for membership. Step one, step two, zero. Step three, get certified. How much does that cost? Zero. So let's go to our certification page. We have more than 60 inspector certifications and credentials. Why would you be anything other than a home inspector? To increase gross revenue from that stacks book, you want to offer things that your clients need. For example, if you're in an area where there's a lot of radon. I'm in Colorado. One out of two homes have elevated levels of radon. So if you're a home inspector, you got to be doing radon too as well, right? Just about all of your jobs will have that bundled package to increase your gross revenue. And you're not really increasing your time. In business, you want to increase gross revenue and divide it by a little bit of time. That's the math, right? Revenue on top, numerator divided by denominator time. Don't want a whole lot of time down. You want to squeeze your time. You want to increase gross revenue and divide it by your time. So how to increase gross revenue? One of the best ways to increase gross revenue is ancillary inspections. Get trained and certified in different types of inspections. Offer home energy inspections. Offer lawn irrigation system inspections. We have a, a really good course about that. Chimney inspection, anything you want. That's one way to increase gross revenue. There are other ways to increase gross revenue as well. We can talk about that. Certify, get certified, $0. So step one, $49. Step two, get trained, $0. Get certified, $0. Right now, your potential clients are online looking for inspectors who are professional and certified. That's why. InterNACHI has the only federal registration certification mark, Certified Professional Inspector, CPI. No one else on the planet can say that they are a Certified Professional Inspector other than InterNACHI CPIs. So it's a designation, credential that you should strive for. It's hard to get to, but there's the URL, natchiorg slash CPI. And then you take that logo, and you put it on your shirt, put it on your hat. Oh, I, I got my hat. Can you see my hat? Got my CPI hat. Put it on your website. Don't use InterNACHI's logo. You don't have to promote InterNACHI. InterNACHI's doing just fine. Start promoting you. You're the certified professional inspector. Put that CPI logo all over the place. People are looking for certified professional inspectors right now in your area. Are you one? And if you are, are you telling them that you are? And if you are just a CPI, maybe that's not enough value to provide to clients who are looking for a home inspector who can also do pool inspections. So get certified in ancillary inspections. Step four, marketing. You got to work on your marketing. It's like you have to do everything all at the same time. I know. It's like you got to play all the keys on the piano a little bit all at the same time. Yep. Don't just focus on one thing. Don't think that you're going to be successful and make a great living by being a great home inspector. There are a lot of great home inspectors out there. Oh, fantastic inspectors. Yep. And they go out of business within the first year because they forgot about all the other keys on the piano to play. So one of the keys is a key to your success is marketing and you have to work on it immediately. As soon as you put down that stacks book and you go, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna make a lot of money. I'm gonna calculate a profitable fee. I'm gonna get certified in everything. And then I'm gonna start working on marketing. This is it. But you're not alone. 
not alone in anything. With InterNACHI, as soon as you're a member, what do you think member means? You're a member of a much larger group. You wanna take full advantage of being a member of InterNACHI. What does that mean? We have a ton of resources available to you for free. One of them is this, the marketing team, the InterNACHI marketing team. We have seven people on staff, highly professional, creative, marketing designers and consultants that will work with you on your marketing. But I, I've got a cousin who does logos. Yeah, nope. Yeah. Our marketing team works only for home inspectors and they do it 24 seven. We've been doing it for years. Let me show you what it is. And you wanna get your logo, your text and your business cards. Don't spend a lot of money, right? So you, the logo is free, the text is free, the business cards, a box of cards is about 130 bucks. Go to natcha.org slash marketing. And what you wanna do is you go up to uh, design services, click that button, and you wanna get a custom logo. Here's the custom logos that they built. Those are excellent logos. You can blow up this logo and wrap your vehicle. It doesn't, it stays high resolution all the time. You can squeeze it down to a, the size of a dime. You can still make out everything. Maybe not the internet you certified. That gets squeezed and that's okay. But your brand, your look, your color, your logo, your design is designed with all of that in mind. Because your logo has to go on your business card, right? So it has to look good, small. And it has to look great, very big. This is what we do. That's, I love Bullock. That's a great logo there. Get a logo. What's it cost? Zero. It doesn't cost any money to get a logo design. And then what do you do? Well, you go back, get your logo, right? Then you get your business cards. This is the cheapest thing you can buy in order to get a logo designed for you for free. And you get the text and the color and the consulting, right? You get all those services. All you do is just buy the business cards, the, the print marketing. And these are fantastic, high quality cards. And you order it by clicking that button there. Why order a box of cards? Because you're gonna pass them out like crazy. You should pass out a box of 1000 cards in probably a week. You're done in a week. So every week, especially if you're beginning or you wanna grow your business and you're pushing the marketing right now for the next month, that's your plan. You gotta pass out thousands of business cards. Then you get the text the copy, we call it. And then you put that on your marketing as well. Like your website, your logo goes on your website and the colors, you start to use the colors and you paint your truck or your vehicle or something that color. And you buy, I would buy brown shirts. All my inspectors would be brown and red and a little bit of green. If, I, if we were a bloodhound and we'd have a big bloodhound dog on our shirts and maybe on our backs and on our website. And all that. So you take advantage of all these resources from the internet marketing team. And if you haven't already, you ought to. Logo, get the text by ordering business cards. Step four, how much does that cost? It's $127 to order a box of cards. Step five, get a website. Now you've got all those things, right? You're trained, you're certified, you're a member of internet, you're trained, you're certified, and you got all of your marketing ready to go. You got a logo, you got color, you got text, you, you've got business cards. Now you need a website, you gotta get online. You have to start now. And when you're fully ready, like you're ready to take a phone call and schedule a job, well, you're ready to go. You have everything in place. Okay, we have a few more steps. Go to natchiorg slash website to get a website. I can't believe how many certified inspectors don't have a website. And they're wondering why the phone isn't working. Why isn't it ringing? Why aren't we having a job? We don't have any jobs this week. What are we gonna do? Maybe we should work on marketing. Yeah, website. You got to get a website. And I recommend FastSite for you. These guys make websites for InterNACHI members only. They only work for InterNACHI inspectors, starting at $250 monthly payments available. And it includes free edits and updates by their website design team. Go to FastSite for you. Where's the, where's, the, there it is. It should look a little bit like that. So you have to get online. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do it myself. Yep, you can. You really can. But you have to think about your time. 
right? You have to think about how much time are you going to do everything? Are you going to play the piano all the time? Or are you going to give this certain set of keys to success to someone else who can do it? So you have to think about your money. You want a huge return on your investment. You either invest your time or a little bit of money to hire a professional to do it. And the key to success, one of those keys on the piano, key to success is delegation. If you're into doing everything yourself, you're going to be behind. You have to think about saving enough money in order to hire someone professional to do it for you, just like the marketing, right? You can have your cousin design your business logo, but there'll always be this, mm, she's not really a professional designer, is she? No, mm, well, it's free. Yeah, you should have spent the $127 for professional marketing. If you're going to market with real estate agents, a real estate agent can see a crappy business card from 20 feet away. Embarrassing. Delegate down. Maybe you want to do it yourself. Maybe you already have a website. Fantastic. But these guys build websites for energy inspectors fast in the most affordable way. And that's fast site for you. F-A-S-T-S-I-T-E, the number four, the letter U.com or that URL. And I'll show you the URL again. Natchee.org slash website. Natchee.org slash website. Get online. Step six, take a class on marketing. How much is it? Zero. Okay, so wait, let's go back. How much money are we spend? It sounds like a lot. Step one, $49. Step two, get trained, $0. Step three, get certified, $0. Step four, marketing, right? Business card, logo, text, colors, consulting. $127, right? Then step five, get a website. That's $250. Step six, take a class on marketing. And we have free online classes on marketing. It'll just blow your head off. Go to natcha.org slash webinar. Let's go there now. I'll show you how to find a good class on marketing. Go to the search field and type marketing. These are all fantastic free online classes. I mean, if you're on social media, you have time for a class. I mean, what do you want to do? be on TikTok, Instagram, Facebook for an hour or two at night. And you're talking about being successful, but you're there. Who's going to be successful is those who invest their time in their business, working on their business, in their business. And the, one of the things you have to do is marketing. You have to work on marketing. You have to play all the keys all at once. Spend the next, spend this weekend. If you're not going out, with your loved one to a restaurant or something like that, spend an hour and take a class on marketing. So you go to natcha.org slash webinar, you type in marketing in the search field and you scroll down to my favorite marketing. Well, we have some pretty good ones. I mean, here's my buddy, Matthew. He tells you how to market yourself. He's a successful multi-inspector company um, and he gives tips on how to market your home inspection business, especially during this uh, strange time we're in. There's Kevin Wagstaff um, from Spectora. He talks about marketing and uh, social media. And here's my favorite. See this guy? You don't want to be this guy. You know, if you have a, a television clicker in your hand for more than an hour a night, um, I think your competition would love to see that you are this. They don't want you taking a home inspection business and marketing class. You take this business and marketing tips for home inspectors class. That's a really good one. Also, the ultimate home inspector marketing class or marketing tips for home inspectors. It's all available to you. No one can do it for you. No one can calculate your profitable fee, but it's available for you to do it. Chapter 11 in our home inspection business course. No one can force you to take a marketing class, but it's available to you. And it only takes about an hour for you to do. I'd rather you spend an hour here learning how to market your business than um, working on your logo yourself or working on your website yourself. Okay. All right, let's go back. Step six, take a class on marketing. So here we are again, ready? Here's the two prerequisites, right? A, stack some money. Are you interested in that book? Calculate a profitable fee. That's free. Join their NACHI, that's $49. Step two, get trained, that's $0. Step three, get certified, that's $0. Step four, work on marketing, that's $127. Step five, get a website, that's $250. Step six, take a marketing class. So, so far, that's $426. One of the keys, and there's a lot of keys to success. One of the easy things that makes it easy for you 
one of the things you can do that makes it easier for you as a new member of internet G and a new inspector and a new business owner is you have a little bit of cash saved up for this, right? If you're alone, great. You just invest it. If you have to talk with your loved ones, yep. You talk down and you sit down and you say, we're going to invest 500 bucks in this idea to make a great living. And it's only $426. I know it's a lot of money, but it's not extraordinary. Because right now, at this point, step six, you've got a great foundation for making a great living. Step seven, you need some tools. Uh, some inspections, you need a flashlight, <laughs> not all of them. Actually, the word flashlight doesn't even appear in the standards of practice. So if you get a flashlight and use it during a home inspection, you're exceeding the standards of practice. So don't worry about that. There's a, there's a whole argument about exceeding the standards of practice. Look for the word flashlight in the standards. So you buy basic tools like a flashlight, good lumens, you know, what is it, a thousand lumens, GFCI tester, and a volt tester. So you need some tools. And it's going to cost you for a good flashlight with a thousand lumens, it's going to be about 200 bucks for a rechargeable one. And that is going to have a huge return on your investment because you'll be able to see things that you couldn't see without a good flashlight. And a GFCI tester, well, GFCI is listed in the standards of practice. You have to test those things. And a volt tester is really for your safety. If you come across a wire, you want to know if it's live or not. Where do we go for tools? Well, you don't make your cousin design a tool for you, right? Um, you go to Inspector Outlet. You delegate this down, just like FastSiteForYou.com. You go to InspectorOutlet.com. FastSite for You designs websites for InterNACHI members. Inspector Outlet sells tools and equipment for InterNACHI members. And here's a flashlight that I kind of like. It's almost a thousand lumens. It's for 90 bucks. Maybe get that one instead of spending $200, maybe less than 90 bucks and get that tool. And then a GFCI tester. You look up GFCI tester in the search field and inspector outlet, and then you get a volt tester. Okay. Okay. Now you got your basic tools. Oh, we're spending money now. So if you add another $300 to the 426, that's 726, $726. Okay, we're approaching a grand. That's okay. Save up, right? So here we go. Step one, $49. Step two, get trained at zero. Get certified at zero dollars. Work on marketing, $127. Get a website, $250. Take a marketing class, zero dollars. Basic tools, $300. Now you're ready to go. I'd say you're ready to go. And that means you have to start inspecting. What do, you, what do you inspect? You have to inspect your house 10 times. And I don't care if you've been a home inspector for 10 years, I bet you should inspect your house. <laughs> it's the shoemaker that doesn't have great shoes, right? I bet you should inspect your house. So inspect your house sometime. And uh, don't watch every football game on Sunday, just watch your favorite football game and take those three hours, right? Who wants to watch Dallas anyways? Just kidding. And take that three hour during a football game and inspect your house or inspect your friend's house. Grab your buddy, inspect his or her house. Grab your neighbor and just walk over and tell, by the way, you're supposed to tell everyone. So you inspect everything. Just keep inspecting and using your software and get better at your software. Every day I work on my narratives, my sentences, my templates in my software. I make it looked, look good. Your report should, you're going to be judged by your report, right? And you're going to be in court, maybe. It's okay to go to court. I was dragged into court a couple of times, small claims. I won 10 minutes because my report was so thorough and robust. You have to write reports that are easy to read and clear to understand. So you need inspection software. And there's free trials out there, by the way. I'll sh I have a link for it. Then you tell everyone, if you haven't told everyone that you're a home inspector by now, well, you know, I don't know how you're going to make a great living. I mean, every neighbor, literally every neighbor in my neighborhood knows I'm a home inspector. They drive past my driveway. I park my home inspection truck near my front door. My front door, 10 feet away is a uh, sidewalk. And right there is my truck. Everyone knows I'm a home inspector. When everybody, anybody has a problem, like um, a while back, 
last season, my neighbor had a leaky skylight and she was standing in my driveway because she knows I have an infrared and a moisture meter and knows I'm a home inspector and she came over. She wants to pinpoint it before she hires the roofer. She wants to know what is going on. Perfect, I do it for free. Why? I'm not making any money. I'm investing. I'm investing in other people talking well about me. They may not need a home inspection, but they may know somebody who needs a home inspection, right? So you want to tell everyone it's free marketing, uh, word of mouth marketing, whatever they teach out there in those home inspection courses and classes and coaching sessions. What you want to do is just tell everyone. You want to inspect everything and then tell everyone. You can do it on social media too. Just in, invite yourself to groups, networks, maybe find a friend or so, all of your friends should know that now you have a huge network of people. Don't be embarrassed. Be confident. You're trained, you're certified, you got the tools, you got the website, you can direct people to your website, right? Show your passion. I mean, I'm passionate about inspecting homes. I can't stop. When I go into a restaurant, I look up. I look around. Maybe that's not you. Uh, maybe, you know, maybe that's not you. But if you're not passionate about home inspections, uh, yeah, I don't know. What are you going to talk about? People are going to see it. So if you're passionate about home inspection, if you're passionate about inspecting things, can't stop. I've got a Journal of Light Construction magazine. It's just ugh, burning to read it today. Uh, there's a, an article about um, simple spans of floor joists. I'm in it. Love inspecting. I'm going to inspect today probably something in my neighborhood. That's what you want to do. You want to show you're passionate about what you do. You want to inspect everything. You want to get really well-versed in home inspections, get online training, know what you're inspecting, how to be a good inspector, how to operate a business. Tell everybody about it. You know, you're going to hire a marketing team, hire a website design team, and then you know, you're going to direct people to your marketing with your marketing. You want to show your passion and then you want to add value to the conversation. You want to help people add value to people's lives. So what do you say on social media? Don't sell yourself, just add value. Hey, I know a little bit about um, floor joist deflection. Are your floors bouncy? Have you ever walked across your living room and the floor seems to squeak and a little bouncy? I know all about that. I just read an article and here's what happens. You add to the conversation and you add value to people's lives. That's what you're here for. If you're inspecting a home, you're improving the lives of people. Because especially in the United States, we don't build homes very well. That's kind of like why we're in business. I don't know why we do it. Resources are easy and maybe that's changing. We don't build homes very well and they deteriorate, they break, they leak, they wear out, they gain entropy, if you want to learn about that. And they're always wearing down and deteriorating. And that's why you're needed. Because people's homes are falling apart and they need to know what's going on. They need to know, they need a storyteller about their home and you're the storyteller. You're gonna make a great living doing this. But you gotta do these things, you're ready to go. Start inspecting everything, tell everyone, show your passion, add value to the conversation and change people's lives. Real estate agents and job leads. Real estate agents are part of this business. Oh, I don't, I don't deal with real estate. That's really good, but you, know, you may wanna try. You may wanna try to network with real estate agents because they're the other professional at the kitchen table. You might as well reach out your hand and say hi. Yep. So once you have a website, you can start directing real estate agents to that website. You can start directing everyone. If you're on Instagram, everyone clicks your link, uh, your profile link, right? To find out who you are. So inspect everything, tell everyone, show passion, add value to the conversation, add value to people's lives. Now start reaching out to other professionals. LinkedIn is a great way to get into a real estate professionals network. And go here, what are you gonna say? Well. You can do a, a virtual presentation or actual live presentation now. So get, go to natchez.org slash presentations 
and there's free real estate presentation resources. And we have slides you can download. They're short, sweet slides. You can customize them, put your logo from the marketing team on there, put your website from fastsiteforyou.com, put your website there so people can follow up on you. We also have free online continuing education courses in most states. And there's a ton of other resources that you can talk about. What do I talk about? What do I tell everyone? How do I add value? Here it is. And also we have promo videos, promotional videos that you can use. Let's see, this might be a little different. I think I have to bring up someone else's account. So I'm gonna bring up someone else's account here. Let's see, how do I do this? Whoa, I hope you can see that. Let's see, this is Alicia's account. Um, there. So you go to promo videos and we have promotional videos. Where do you play these videos? On your website, social media on a tablet that you bring to the home inspection and you hand over to your client. These promotional videos help you sell additional services. Remember those certifications that we talked about? Why would I be certified in pool or radon? It's in order to increase gross revenue, in order to bundle packages, in order to sell additional services while you're there, while you're at the home inspection. Hey, it looks like you have a moisture intrusion problem. I can see it with my infrared camera. Let's do a mold test. And so, these videos help you sell here while i'm here hire me to perform an infrared certified inspection while i'm here help me uh, hire me to perform your mold inspection you should be playing videos that help you sell additional services adding value don't worry about well i don't think my client know uh, wants to, uh, to get a mold you have no idea what your clients know. they have your clients have no idea what they need and it's your job to tell them what they need Okay, and we have those resources because you're an InterNACHI member and you're going to take full advantage of all the resources we provide to InterNACHI members. Free inspection job leads. This is one of the most important things you could do. I should have had this slide up number one. Join InterNACHI number two, get free job leads, right? Don't feel obligated to pay for job leads. These are free job leads. I'm going to try to prove it to you. Go to natchiorg slash inspection hyphen leads natchiorg slash inspection hyphen leads. Let me try to explain what this is. So InterNACHI is really big, right? We have search engines that are working all over the planet, looking for people who are searching right now for what? We've mentioned it earlier. Inspectors who are professional and certified, right? Certified professional inspectors, InterNACHI certified professional. So for example, we have inspectorseek.com. And when we find someone looking for that, we grab them and direct them to our inspector's website. So they're searching for a certified professional inspector in a certain zip code, blah, 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 blah. Oh, bing. And we direct them to you. If you don't have a website, it ain't gonna work, right? So let me show you, you gotta update your profile. So you go here, update your, oh, the inspector seek, it looks like this, if you haven't seen it. So people find an inspector near you and you type in an address and, 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 but you, in order to receive these job leads and, oh, here's the, we do about nine uh, leads, free leads per minute. Uh, it could be a little more than that. Um, someone from inspector, uh, from spectora.com, their search engine, spectora.com has a search engine. They, they found somebody who's a certified professional inspector and an internet inspector on spectora and they directed them there right? And this member just got hit with somebody looking for a job. Clarksville Home Inspectors. Clarksville Chase Grimm is an internationally certified professional inspector. So someone from Spectora's search engine landed on Chase, Chase's uh, website, because he's an internationally member. That's an example, right, of what we do. So update your member profile. And you scroll down and you make sure your mailing address is there your email address, your company information, and here, website, right here. This is the most important thing, right there. Boom. You copy paste your website URL right in there. Make sure it has HTTPS or HTTP, whatever you have in there. Now people can go to Spectoria and look for a home and they land on your website. People will go to InterNACHI's inspection uh, search fields and they land on it, uh, your website. You have to have a website. You got to get online. You got to get your business online and then you update your profile, right? So 
especially. So here we go. Oh, we do the math. Math. Oh, adding. So first step, join Internet for $49. Step two and three, get trained and certified. That's free. Step four, work on marketing, business cards, logo, text, colors, consulting, $127 and pass them out in a month. Step five, get a website, $250. Don't do it yourself. Hire a professional. Step six, take marketing class at zero. Stop watching the Cowboys for four hours. Step seven, basic tools. That's $300. You need a flashlight. Could be less. $300 for flashlight, GFCI tools. Maybe it's something else. Step eight, free inspection job leads. Zero. You're not alone. We have a mentoring program. You can find a mentor in your area. You go to a mentoring program, natchiorg slash mentor, and you find a mentor. So you have to log into the program and you have to be a certified home inspector. You can also, if you wanted to, volunteer and become a mentor. And you have to agree to these things here. You have to agree to assist other InterNACHI members with guidance. So you're not alone. I would find a mentor not in your direct market. Find a mentor just outside your marketing or very far away. Okay. Step nine, should we go over again? How much money are you investing? It's really important. You can add them all up, get a mentor. Step nine. So that is so far $726. Inspection community. If you want to be part of a community, the largest community of inspectors, go to natchi.org slash forum. You can, you can talk to other inspectors on our online community forum. Natural.org slash member stats is where you get to see the statistics. There's almost 30,000 of us all over the world. You can zoom in. So you can zoom in. Let's go to what, Seattle? How many inspectors are there in Seattle? You can have a coffee in Seattle. You can start a chapter in Seattle and talk about what? Inspecting, showing your passion, adding value to the conversation, right? So there's a lot of people all over the place. You're not alone. You have mentors online or right next to you. You have inspectors you can talk to all over the world, everywhere. We're all over the place. You're not alone. Call somebody up, say you're new. You would like to talk about business. You wanna meet for some coffee. Yep, okay. Find local inspectors. How do you find local inspectors? We're gonna find local inspectors. Someone text me, oh, we have a ton of questions. Sorry, maybe we'll get to them, okay? Are mentors free or do you pay them? They're free. They're agreed to be free. But I would say that some of them are so good. Some of them may offer like, you know, a monthly fee or something for always being available for um, high quality, you know, one-on-one -on -one consultation. It's probably worth it. Okay. Because some of those inspectors, um, they're certified master inspectors. They're thinking about retirement and they want, when you get to a certain point, I know this personally, you want to just share get to a certain point and you just want to give back because it's the, the living has been so good. So, um, but that's up to you. I mean, they agree to do things for free, but they may also have some type of coaching service or something like that. It's really on them. Okay, Carla, that was a good question. Somebody give me uh, something, chat, chat or text. Give me a zip code. Let's search for some inspectors. Okay, Wayne, 45011, sorry. Wayne's first. That's Hamilton, Ohio. We got some licensing going on there. Okay, first guy, first person to pop up um, is Joseph Minach from Minach Family Home Inspections. I like that. And Joseph has a, a website. Why am I clicking the website? Because I want to see what Joseph is doing so that I can compete with Joseph in the market my friendly competitor, I wanna see what you're doing, right? And so far, I, well, I don't know if, I, if you know me, like I don't hold back, but I hate this homepage because this apparently is Joseph's house. For some reason, he's shown off his house, how big and expensive and fancy and clean it is, you know? So, and it's, he really likes sun, maybe he only works at sunset or, or dawn or something, I have no idea. But fancy homes on a website have nothing to do with, maybe I can't afford this home, right? You either are showing off where you live or you only inspect really expensive homes. And so maybe that's not me, right? Maybe I'm just, it's so weird to see a home without blinds or curtains. 
It's just a strange thing. What does this have anything to do with your company? I, you're, you have me for about three seconds, really. That's how fast consumers are in deciding whether to hire you or not. You have three seconds to show me what I'm looking for. What am I looking for? Remember, certified professional inspector. I'm looking for an inspector. I'm not looking for a fancy home that you live in. I'm looking for a home that I can't afford. Don't put a fancy home on your homepage. Anybody who designed this for you, really just has no idea what they're doing. That's why you go to FastSite for you. They know how to design websites for home inspectors. This, I don't know who designed this for you. They have no idea. They want you to fail because you should be on this homepage. It's called a hero image. I need to see what I'm buying fast. Give it to me now because you have three seconds or I'm leaving. So that's how I, I critique websites, right? What a waste. What a waste of precious. This is the most precious real estate that you'll ever deal with and you're blowing it, okay? So Joseph, love you. Great, you're an internet inspector. I want you to succeed. I wanna see you, man. I wanna see what I'm about to buy for a lot of money. I wanna judge that book by its cover. And right now, I don't know what is going on. You, you, buy, you build homes. Apparently you clean homes only at night, at dusk. I don't, I don't get it, right? Choosing the right home inspector can be difficult. Yeah, it can, it can. And you've got three seconds to convince me that you're worth hiring. See, this is the fun part. So if me and Joseph were competing, I would do something different on my website. I wouldn't put a, a picture of a fancy expensive house on my homepage. I'd put value on my homepage. I'd make sure that everyone sees that I'm the inspector and I'm a certified professional. I'd put the CPI logo right next to my face and I'd do a hero and I'd smile and I'd be on that homepage, right? Uh, cart, I'm not uh, grocery shopping. I have no idea why you have a cart. I don't, I don't need the cart. Contact, I don't need contact. There was a movie called Contact about aliens, right? I don't need a contact. Here's a go, schedule online. So you can just delete that tab, delete that tab. Schedule online, that's really powerful. Um, pricing and services, that's really good as long as you calculated a profitable inspection fee. About, I really don't care about you. I care about me, right? And I need to find a home inspector because I'm a, I have my dream home, but I need to do this next step. I need to know if everything's gonna be okay, right? So I don't need to know more about you. Um, Google reviews is really important, but I don't know what that has to do with the home. Oh, there's a home page. Oh, no one does this. No one puts home and reviews. Might as well just put them all together. Let's go home, reviews, services, pricing, and online scheduling all on one big button, <laughs> right? So separate this. No one does this. This is unconventional. Stop. Schedule online. This is really good. Call, ask a question. Nobody has questions. I mean, so maybe how much money to uh, something, I don't know, how much money do you get for um, doing Dawn inspections? Sorry to beat you up. Let's go. Uh, Let's go back to Inspector Seek. Mark Bean, okay, has a website. Thank goodness. We can direct free inspection job leads. That's fantastic. Mark, I hope you are a commercial property inspector because that's all you do. And I'm done. I'm looking for a home inspector, right? Looking for a home inspector. Edwin, very good. And has a website. This is terrible. You know, I don't know what this means. You got to get this domain. So you got you have to hire Fastside for you to help you with your domains. Grover, take a look at Grove. Talk to Grove.com. Talk to Grover.com. That is fantastic. That's beautiful. That beats all the other inspectors. I'm hiring this guy. All the other ones were just commercial buildings and something at night and fancy house and the domain don't work. And then boom, A B intro inspect. That's awesome. Grover, thanks for being an internet G inspector and showing how to do it. This is awesome. Got a video here. I'm going to play that. That is fantastic. That is awesome. Yeah. Don't like the logo. Wasn't designed by internet G marketing team, but that's okay. I'll forgive you. So that's a lot of fun. Oh, I would look at services. That's fantastic. That's an action shot there. I don't even know what that is. Is that a drill? I guess it's a flashlight. Drills and flashlights. I want to find your prices though. Mm, about... Photo, I don't know. And you know, every page should have a call to action, like to hire you. So where's this, oh, a book, book and inspection, get in touch. No, uh, I want to book and inspect. You got to make scheduling with you a little bit easier.
Okay, so have maybe have somebody design a, the, or improve the website. So that's fun. You want to go through and find your friendly competitors that you're going to have coffee with, right? And you're going to tell them about their website and how yours is so much better. They're going to be like, what? Yeah. Member chapters, we have chapters of inspectors all over the place. If you can't find one, you can create one. You can manage your own chapter, which is kind of fun. We've got one in India, South Korea. We've got one in the United Kingdom. Um, there's a young professional inspectors chapter. They're virtual too. Um, they're down in Florida headquartered. But if you're a young professional inspector, I recommend joining this chapter and just scroll down and find your local chapter. We have one in Puerto Rico. I'm going there soon. Inspector events, you go, log into your account and then you scroll down the page in order to get the inspector events. And we just have, we have free live, I'm sorry, we have in-person hands-on training and conventions and events, InterNACHI does. Go to nachi.org, you log in to your dashboard. My dashboard is gonna look a little different than yours, that's okay. You scroll down to upcoming InterNACHI events and you hit the full calendar button. And there's the full calendar. I am in a webinar in a couple hours about um, preparing for the ICC B1 code inspector exam. We're going to do chapter four, which is foundations of the IRC. So that's a webinar coming up. We also have inspection super conference. It's a good conference there. We also have a webinar about what home inspectors need to know about flood resilient homes. We have a chapter uh, meeting in Orange County and also in Greater Houston. And it goes on and on and on. Look at all the chapters you can join. A lot of them are virtual too, online. And don't miss out on the latest news. Newsletters are very important. You wanna to subscribe to Internet G's Inspector Newsletter, and I'll show you an example of why it's important. Here's a recent newsletter from September 15th, 2021, issue number 157. So in the front row here of the newsletter, you have three important things. You have a resource for free, live, online, interactive training for home inspectors. This is the webinar. This is actually this webinar that, so this is the promo in the newsletter. Free inspector logo designs. So there's member, you gotta delegate down to professionals to do marketing for you. And then there's insurance. You wanna back yourself up. You wanna protect yourself. You don't wanna lose everything. So you wanna get general liability and e &O insurance from InterNACHI's insurance. And then there's some advertisers. Click them. If you wanna do water tests, there's Simple Lab, a call center, got a call center there. You wanna a survey master, protometer, and other things. Like you wanna, here's an article about how to get online with Google. How do I show myself on inspector searches with Google? So the newsletter keeps you informed of the latest things, the latest greatest. And we have business and legal resources. So um, you can, it's like a legal Zoom for home inspectors. And that's at natchiorg slash documents. And we also have a home inspection business course that you should take, not just chapter 11 that we mentioned earlier, but the entire course. And then you want to log into your dashboard. And here's something really cool. You want to, um, what was it? You want to log in. Let me see if I can find it again. Sorry. Oh, business debt. Okay. You want to log into your dashboard and you want to, on the left side, you want to go to business development, business development and click that link. And there's a free business development tool designed by InterNACHI's founder, Nick Enrico, my brother. And it's called bizvelop.com. And you check out bizvelop.com and it goes through a system of questions. It asks you questions and based upon your answers, it helps you figure out what you need to do next. Free online business tool. I don't care if you've been in business 10 years, you should go through it. Make sure you're doing everything as a business owner, right? You want to work in on your business. Software and inspection, there's always, there's always free trials available. So there's um, Home Inspector Pro, I like Home Inspector Pro, and I like Spectora. There are other ones, but those two are pretty good. And there's the URL. Apologize, it's really long. Natchi.org slash home hyphen inspection hyphen checklist. Natchi.org slash home hyphen inspection hyphen checklist. And you go there, 
there's a basic home inspection checklist. It's actually, a, it, it, uh, you can use the internet checklist. I wouldn't use it for your clients, but to practice, remember you're inspecting everything, you practice and practice. You can use free online um, software um, from internet. It, it works on your phone. There's discounted software too. You click here and you go to our friend inspector outlet. And then there's any kind of checklist you want. There's a gas furnace inspection checklist, home energy inspection checklist, a mold checklist, a pool and spa checklist, a radon mitigation inspection checklist, sewer scope, you get the idea. Why all these checklists? You upload the checklist um, right into your inspection software. So when you come across something like a wood destroying organism inspection, something, you just go to that checklist template in your software and you don't make a mistake. It helps reduce um, your mistakes, makes you a better inspector. You don't have to remember how to inspect everything when you have checklists from InterNACH. And you have staff support. So go to our contact page and ask the following question. How can InterNACH help me be more successful? Ask anybody on our contact page. So here's your homework assignment. We're gonna go through the questions and answers, or questions here, there's a lot of them, um, as much as I can, but I'm on a webinar in just a little bit, another webinar about code um, through NACHI, InterNACHI webinars. Your assignment, log into your account and learn how to access everything you need all in one place through your InterNACHI dashboard. You gotta go in there, especially update your profile with a website URL. Look up the word commodity. Do a Google search definition of commodity. You do not want to be a commodity. A commodity is something that can be interchanged with something else without distinction. Like one thing is all the same. Every apple on the apple cart is about the same. So if you want to make a decision about which apple to buy, it's very difficult for a consumer to distinguish between one apple and another. So you don't want to be a red delicious just like everybody else. You want to be something else. You want to be a Graham Smith in a basket of red delicious apples. Maybe that example isn't good. You want to be different from everyone else. You don't want to be a commodity. So you don't want to have a website that looks like everyone else. If your competition has a web, has a fancy expensive house on their homepage, you do not wanna put a fancy expensive house on your homepage. When everything is the same, when you are saying the same things as your friendly competitors, what else can distinguish you? If you have the same tools, if you have the same crappy looking logo, if you have the same crappy website, if you don't have an easy way to schedule an inspection, if everything is the same, right? Then the only distinguishing characteristic between you and your competition is price. And consumers will, will shop by price and they'll pick the lowest price. And when everything is the same, the lowest price wins. And that's no good for anybody. So what you wanna do is you wanna think of yourself as being different. You want to differentiate yourself from the rest of your competition. That's why you have fun using Inspector Seek. You want to look for other inspectors and see what they're doing. You want to spy on your competition, your friendly competitors. You want to ask them out for coffee. You want to join the community forum. You want to go to the chapter meeting. You want to engage in conversation and see what other inspectors are doing and then do something different. Because essentially, we're all doing a home inspection according to the same standards of practice. Now what? You have to do something that you have to see, seem to be the perceived value must be different from all the rest. You must overwhelm your client with amazing value. And it must be different from all the rest. You must be the best burger in the neighborhood. You know, there is a restaurant. I tell this. So there's truly a restaurant right up the street. There's a $15 burger. And I buy it every once in a while. Not too often. It's an expensive burger. Why? It's the best burger. It is really, it's kind of the best burger around. Maybe in the neighborhood of the county or state. I mean, it is the best burger. Why would I go anywhere else? 
and their website, you land on the page, and ain't a, the home page doesn't have a <laughs> have anything other than a burger. It's got the picture of the thing that I want to eat. It solves the problem of my hunger. That website is fantastic. It has a big burger on it. I'll show it to you later on another class. Okay? That's what you want. You want to be different from all the rest. You want to show how special you are. And if, you're, if you provide overwhelming value, perceived overwhelming value to your clients, then you can demand more. You can increase your gross revenue. That's another way to increase gross revenue. Another, another way is to bundle packages. You bundle your home inspection service with radon and mold, bundling more gross revenue. Um, your homework assignment number two is get a new website now. Get online. If you're dissatisfied with your current website, that's okay. Figure it out. If you have a great website and it's working great, fantastic. Do something else. But if you only have a website and you're not online, like some of those folks that we clicked, right? They didn't even have a website. Yeah, that's a crime. Got to get on online. And I think that's it. So let me see if I can pull out of here. Boop. Boop. All right. What am I sharing? Hmm. Let's see. I'll go um, this one. Desktop. Can you all see me? I hope you can all see me now. Okay, you should just see my face. Hopefully you're just seeing my face. <laughs> I've got questions here. Holy cow, we got a lot of questions. Um, Douglas, a long time ago, said, uh, it's amazing read, um, that Stacks book, loved it, it was very motivating. And then everyone said a bunch of stuff. Um, I wanna work six days a week, Jacob says, being a home inspector and business owner. Um, my goal was to work four days a week and I achieved that. We increased our prices. No one, no one blinked. And then we realized we're making more money working less. Boy, when you, when you figure that one out, you are doing really good. Um, Jeffrey got his license, website up, meet and greet realtors, bank owners, trying to get that first inspection ball rolling. Any advice, market slowing down. Um, not, it's all in your area. So not in my area, um, but I would take a look at um, the marketing classes that we mentioned at natcha.org slash webinar, um, look up Brody in the search. So B-R-O-D-I-E, my buddy Brody. He talks about marketing strategies that are unique. Well, they're not unique. They just don't do them anymore. No one cold calls and he cold calls, right? He calls up real estate agents and starts a conversation. The guy has guts, right? If you can't do that, you can do it online and start conversations. Remember, add value to the conversation. Don't sell yourself. People can see a salesperson from a mile away. Just add value to the conversation. Um, there's a lot of ways to get that first job, right? I gave away a, a first job, a free inspection to a real estate agent who then talked about me. Um, there's also, you can, when you get bigger and start thinking about business operations and um, hiring folks, you can hire a growth person, right? A person who just does maybe social media and outreach and networking with people who are interested in your service, um, who are interested in being uh, um, contacted by you or being in your network. Um, and one of the interesting things that you can do is uh, when you get bigger is to hire a real estate agent. Uh, real estate agents um, have free time, a lot of them do, and they are in <laughs> a network of professionals, right? That you wanna contact. So you hire a real estate agent to contact real estate agents right? A few hundred dollars a week. Um, and you have somebody who's much better at con conversing than you are. And they already are in a network of people that you want to reach. So consider hiring a real estate agent as um, your growth person, person who builds your network of people who might be interested in doing business with you. Okay. Um, you know, uh, Michael says, my biggest headache is transitioning from my current job, good one, to a business owner, any issues, healthcare, right? So one of the best things that you can do, it, I did it, is save a little cash. And that's why we did all that math, all that adding up. Figure out what step you need to be on and then save. And if you can get to a point where you can save 
that amount of money, you can be a weekend warrior. You can do things that I didn't want to do because I was, I was a successful business owner, uh, home inspection business owner. And I was working four days a week, right? Four and a half days a week. I didn't want to work on Saturday or Sunday. Maybe you could. You could take my business. Contact me and say, hey, uh, if you have any overflow, can you feed it to me? And I'll be like, yeah. Because what I don't want to do as a successful business owner is say no. Ring, ring. Hey, Big Ben Inspections, do you do Saturday inspections? I'm like, no. Click, right? Well, I'm not going to call him again. But if I said yes, but would you mind if I have my buddy, uh, Mary, she's going to come. Mary Inspections will be there on Saturday morning to do the inspection with us, you know, as she's part of our network. Maybe we can get Mary to put on a, uh, a Big Ben shirt, right? A company brand or something like that. So I never say no, I always say yes. And transitioning. So save up, go weekends, figure out holes in someone else's schedule that they can't fill. You know, maybe you call up um, all the people who are doing pool inspections and tell them, you know, if you're doing a pool inspection and someone's asking you for a radon test, I can do them. I can do a home inspection too. Or someone who just does home inspections and they're not doing any other inspections, you can offer that company to do their mold inspections or their radon inspection or their roof inspections. So it just goes on and on. But it's that, it's that thing we, we had on the slide, right? You have to tell everyone. You have to tell everyone, even your friendly competition. You have to tell them, here we go. I'm going to be competing, but here's how we're going to work together, right? Um, uh, buying leads, nope, they don't have to, you don't have to buy leads. Uh, Brad says, what is the average amount of time for somebody to complete all the training sessions, exams, and assignments to be a CPI for home inspecting? Multiple? If, if you're a home inspector already to become an internet CPI, certified professional inspector, will take you um, maybe a couple of weeks. If you are totally green, you're a math teacher, no, nothing wrong with teacher. I'm a math guy, I was a math teacher, and you want to be a home inspector, you have some training to do. You got to go through a lot. If you're an existing inspector with the knowledge and skills and abilities, you can transfer over and get a, a CPI certification fairly easily, right? But um, you have to go through our college program. The nice thing is, Brad, if you're totally new, um, the college program, you get, if you sign up, you get an entire year to complete it because it's learning at your pace. You know? And if you need an extension, we'll give it to you. And then you actually have an accredited certificate, a certificate of completion for uh, completing an accredited home inspector certificate program. It's a, it's a college program. You can actually, uh, no one's gonna take it, but you know, there's no other home inspector colleges out there, but um, it is a college. That's what I would do. Uh, and it's learning at your pace. So again, it's really up to you. Um, you could, you know, you can pound it out in weeks, maybe months, maybe a year. It all depends on um, how much time you want to invest and what kind of return you want your, on your investment and how fast can you go? How fast can you go through the steps? Um, yeah, any updates on internet courses counting towards the New York licensing requirement? We have two things. Yes, we just got a live class approved. And we are planning on having a live class on Long Island, uh, like right in the middle somewhere um, soon. So uh, it'll be in the newsletter. So be sure to subscribe to the newsletter. Um, so we have an approved, I think it's a roofing course. Um, and then we have chapters and we have training partners. So Internet is an online college and we have training partners who provide live in-person classes and we partner with them. So um, if you need something that um, you can't find, just go to our contact page, scroll down to the education team and contact somebody about what your need is. Internet is successful because we listen to our members. So if you contact someone on the team, education team and tell them what you need, we're gonna help you. Um, Dacia, hey slip. Fantastic name. How many mock inspections or courses required or no do you think are necessary before taking a client? I know there are four required, but when to start taking clients? It's my one anxiety producing area besides leaving company insurance. Hmm. 
That's a tough one. I mean, I, I teach doing the four mock inspections. That's very easy. But I teach you should inspect your house 10 times. And then you're going to have to judge between one and 10. Did you actually improve greatly or are you just about the same? You should see a huge difference between one and 10. On the 10th one, you should have all of your software glitches worked out. You should be, be able to produce a report that is easy to read and clear to understand that has pictures and maybe video, right? Video is gonna be the new thing. And you should give it to someone else other than your family member who loves you. Give it to a friend to read and ask them, can you, can you read this? Does this make any sense? Remember, you're telling everyone you're a home inspector, reach out, you know, buy them a, a Coke or a lemonade or something, and then ask them to read one of your reports and go over it. Like, can I have your help? You know, I'm trying to, I'm being a home inspector, and this is how people are going to judge me. Do you, does it make any sense at all? If they're like, I don't know what you're talking about, then you're not ready yet, right? You're not ready to have a client. Your client, your first client should be like, wow, this inspector knows what he or she is doing, going through the house. This is great. They can walk. They can talk at the same time. They can inspect and write a report. And the report at the end is easy to read and clear to understand. That's perfect. Okay? So again, it's up to you. There's no number. There's no real number. But inspect your home 10 times or, your, or um, a friend's home or your parents' home or your neighbor's home, right? Get 10 in there and then judge number one to number 10. It should be a huge improvement. If it isn't, then you gotta get back to working. Any chance of getting a PowerPoint email? To sure, just email the education team. Uh, they're on the contact page. Um, my real estate agent is the one who wants me to become a home inspector. That's fantastic. <laughs> Our mentor's free. Oh, yep, we already did that. Uh, does software include pre-set up SOP information about what is and what is not covered in inspection legal commentary? Yeah. So there are templates, especially Spectora. I think Spectora has my template. I think Internet Cheese template is on Home Inspector Pro. There are templates. Templates means like you don't have to start from scratch. Everything is already organized in systems and rooms and there's, there's narratives or sentences and paragraphs that's already written. However, you want to go through the entire template, your report, and make sure it's written in your words. I speak differently than everyone else. I, I'm grammatically incorrect, slight dyslexia. I say things backwards. I say things in short paragraphs. I don't, I say things like good, bad, period, right? Um, and so the templates have these fancy fluent uh, words in it, just like that fancy expensive home on that homepage. You don't want that. You want it in your own words, right? So um, go through, don't, don't rely on someone else's words. Don't let someone else put words in your mouth. That's what I'm saying. Uh, good morning, everyone. We want to hire. We, when, when, when wanting to hire an employee to do inspections, do they have to have a license or can they work under? Um, go to your local business attorney. They're expensive, but they're worth it. Like for, I don't know, 40 bucks, 100 bucks, you can get this answer written by your local business attorney who can go over your legal documents and know the law. And sometimes your local business attorney already has home inspectors as clients and they may have your friendly competitors, but they won't tell you. They may wink at you, but they are not gonna say anything more than that. So they're already familiar with your situation. It's worth it, okay? Um, I'm totally green. I'm a director of operations for a boys and girls club. Cool, you, you know, you'll be surprised how many people from different backgrounds um, that we serve? We, we, um, we serve and attend to and help um, all different types of folks from all over the world, speaking different languages, different cultures, different races, different types of learners. Some are hands-on, some are auditory, some just like to read. Um, so, yep. We can, we can help you. I would say for you to, to understand where you are right now, it's free. Here's what you're going to do. You're going to go to InternetG's website, natchi.org, and click the inspector exam and take the exam. It's free and online. Don't do the proctored one. 
proctored, I think the proctored exam fee is $25. Don't spend that. Do the free online exam. There's um, 120 questions, you have 60 minutes, 30 seconds per question. That's, that's good pace. At the end, it doesn't cost you anything. And at the end, it'll tell you where you're weak. It'll also tell you where you're strong and where you're weak, what to do about it. It's a really great way to see where you are. How much home inspector knowledge do you actually have as a director of operations for a boys and girls club? I'm guessing you're gonna fail and that's okay. No one knows. It's all confidential to you, right? No, it's, it's not public, right? It's just for you to see where you are and what to do next. So Brad, good question. Uh, okay, there's a lot of texting, chatting. Um, let's see, what can I do? Uh, I'm going through the chats now. Um, I live in upstate New York, uh, that's tough. Um, um, when I want to know, uh, you know, help preparing. Thank you, Ben. Rolando, I read presentations. Is there a list of recommended inspection software? Yep. Um, go to our in, uh, partner inspection, uh, inspectoroutlet.com. Um, a teacher going through the program. That's perfect. Uh, two courses for thermal. Yep. Only two courses. We're, uh, there's another one coming out uh, sometime in 2022. Be sure to subscribe to the newsletter. Uh, the exam is gnarly. I passed that, but it was a crazy hour. All right. So, I think that's it. I think we attacked that pretty well. It was a little over an hour. I apologize. I think I scheduled for an hour, but um, uh, I want to thank you all for being here. And uh, if you're watching it, I appreciate it. You feel free to reach out to us. We're on natchi.org and there's our contact page. My name is Ben Gramico from InterNACHI. That's the International Association of Certified Home Inspectors. Stay safe and healthy, everybody. Thanks for coming to the InterNACHI webinar. Bye. See you in the next class.